to an experiment to um, see what the accuracy is like of the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3's internal barometer uh, with the application sensitive altimeter that you can find on the Google uh, Play Store. This is great this application because it also allows you to adjust the offset of the barometer to read correctly for the altitude. Um, common problem with these Samsung phones and probably a lot of the mobile phones is the sensors they might be fairly linear, they've got an offset on them and therefore they don't read the right altitude for the correct pressure. Um, underneath we've got an aircraft altimeter, you can see we've set to QFE which is 1011 millibars um, and the calibration is set to just under 1011 millibars on the Samsung. Basically I want to do is increase or reduce the air pressure, increase the altitude to see how well the, uh, the two track together. Now you have to bear in mind that the the aneroid barometer be hunt below is actually um, will suffer from a bit of sticky movement, a bit of stiction, uh, and I'll have to tap the bell jar to probably get it to come round. I'm going to start off fairly slowly so I don't blow the screen out the, suck the screen out the front of the uh, Samsung. I don't really want to do that. Stop the vacuum pump. Okay, it's starting slowly now, as you can see here. That's one and a half thousand feet, two thousand. They're tracking excellently at the moment. They've increased the climb rate. This is the digital barometer left green now, we're up to about 850 millibars. Okay. Six thousand, speeding up to seven thousand. Right, let's increase it really a bit faster. I want to see what it's like at about 20,000 feet. So we're now at 12,000 feet. 14,000. And 16. And we'll stop the, stop the climb at 20,000 feet. Okay, let's just try and hold it. It's a bit difficult to hold it still with this vacuum chamber. But 1,100 feet. Okay, well, there is a slight difference. This is a bell job. Bang. Oh, there you go. Okay. They're pretty good, actually. They're more or less the same. Once you get rid of the stiction on the aneroid barometer. They're pretty good, so I think you can safely say that the uh, both the software and the uh, barometric sensor in the uh, in the phone is actually quite reliable. I'm going to come back down now. Twenty thousand feet is enough for most people. Now this will be the the proper test. Winding it back down and see how well it copes with returning back to zero. Um, I expect the phone to recover back to zero very easily. Uh, the aircraft barometer should, but they don't always. Okay, the altimeter on the plane has... See, Aircraft one has stopped, the, the fan has stopped more or less smack on where it was. So I think really you can see in this particular test you probably find that the fan is probably more accurate than this barometer, this altimeter. It hasn't been calibrated. Um, I have tested it before and it's been pretty good, but it has been sitting, it hasn't had much up and down pressure changes, so therefore the diaphragms are probably a bit stiff. Let me just put the camera down a minute. Well, there you go, just giving it a tap. Uh, you can still see it's set to the same pressure setting. The phone has recovered perfectly, so really, I think it's a very good test, and it proves that the uh, the barometer in the phone is excellent and uh, can be used for fairly accurate measurement. Though obviously not for uh, any um, 
any aircraft applications. Thanks for watching.